So today we're going to talk about using Google Slides or PowerPoint for your Teacher Pay Teacher products. And I'll give you one quick tip right off the start. There's a big price difference. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Lorianne and if you are looking for teacher productivity and teacher side hustles, then click that subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. So today we are talking about PowerPoint versus Google Slides. I have made a few videos on both of them. One of them I'll put right up there. And I was recently asked actually two different comments about what do I actually prefer. Now, I'll, I'll share with that in a minute. Uh, it will be no surprise as I talk about these products. But I think sometimes it really comes down to what you are going to make. So let's go back to the first tip I talked about and that is the cost. When you are making money, making revenue, from products that you are creating for Teachers Pay Teachers, Boom Learning, your own website, then you are required to purchase PowerPoint for business or Microsoft Office for business. And that is a bit of a cost. You can uh, purchase Microsoft 365 online and pay a monthly fee. And depending on where you live, that can range from six, eight dollars up to fifteen dollars a month. Again, depends on what type of business account you want and what you want included in it. You can also purchase one installation on one device, business, Microsoft Office, and it again ranges. Some places will cost more than others. The last I looked, it was about 150 US. I've seen it cheaper. I don't know whether those would be 2018, 2019, 2020 versions. Do a little bit of research. I did find a Microsoft page that says you can purchase PowerPoint by itself, but it didn't say whether it was for home or business. I have a feeling it was just for home. So that again, read the fine print and make sure you have the correct one. If you are not selling a lot of products at the moment and you don't have it then you know you it's a purchase you need to be making fairly soon for google google has g suites which is now called google workspace they used to require that you would have to buy g suite or, or workspace and then they changed the terms of use in march 2020. one piece of advice if you are a tpt seller Find a friend, a TPT big seller friend who reads the fine print. <laughs> I am very thankful I know a couple. And when this question was asked to them, they said it no longer says that, but they still buy it. And that should be a good tip for all of us. So as of January 2021, you, do, you are not required to buy it you might want to. And again, this one also is a monthly fee. I believe um, Google Workspace is five or six dollars a month US and it comes with more space and a few more things and I think a business email. Difference in prices for sure. So right now you could potentially be using Google Slides for free. One of the things that people ask is, can you, you know, if you started making something in Google Slides and you suddenly thought, oh wait, I think I'd rather be making this in PowerPoint, how hard or easy is that? It's actually very easy. Both Google Slides and PowerPoint will convert to the other one. So you can go into PowerPoint and upload it straight into Google Slides and then convert it to Google Slides or you could have a, some Google Slides and you can go to download and download it as a PowerPoint and then upload it into PowerPoint. So they are convertible. <laughs> I don't know, is that a word? <laughs> convertible. And the biggest thing which they both do is they both can convert to JPEGs. And that is really important when you are flattening your work. And if you are a new seller, if you are purchasing clip art or fonts by someone else, part of their terms of use is that you need to flatten your work and both PowerPoint and Google Slides will give you the um, option to convert whatever you've made into a JPEG. Now, the difference between the two is that in PowerPoint, you can convert the entire slideshow to a, 
JPEGs. And what they do is they create a file folder and then have all the slides as JPEGs in that file folder. Whereas with Google Slides, you actually have to save every separate slide as a JPEG. Eh. So if you're only needing four or five slides, Google Slides will be fine. If you have 50 slides, you might want to be in PowerPoint. Depending on the type of product you are creating for Teachers Pay Teachers, if it requires a specific font that you want to use, then you will have to use PowerPoint because Google Slides will not allow you to bring in your own font. They have a good variety of fonts, but if you have a specific font that you are wanting to use, like I do when I'm working with primary products, and I want to have that those alphabet letters looking a certain way, I, I haven't found that right font in Google. So I'm always going first to PowerPoint because I'm uploading a paid font that I want to use, and then it's there, ready to go. So that is a big difference, is fonts. Another big difference between them is when whether you are syncing information. Google Slides, where it is strongest is the collaboration tool that it is. When Google Slides first came available for um, educators, I used Google Slides in the classroom. I used Google Documents in the classroom. I used uh, various components of Google in the classroom because I could have a couple students sharing it and working on it at the same time. And if someone deleted ones over the others, I could fix it. <laughs> you can't do that in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is on your computer. So if I was making a product at home and then I was at work and going, oh, I need that product, I'd have no access to it unless I'm using Microsoft 365. I will have access to it that way. But if it is that one, I, I purchased the one installation on one device uh, PowerPoint, I have no access to it once I walk out of my home. That's it, it's on that one computer. Another difference I see of PowerPoint fav being favored over Google Slides is the whole manipulation of clip art and shapes and animations and videos and things like that. Because when I'm creating a product and I have to uh, duplicate and whether I want to move it to an exact spot, I just find it is so much easier to use within PowerPoint. Even when I am making a Google Slides product, for Teachers Pay Teachers, I tend to always start it in PowerPoint, get everything exactly the way I want it, export it as JPEGs, throw it into Google Slides, and then uh, put insert my text boxes or things like that, right? So everything is flattened, and, and then I can go. But I do tend to favor uh, just the range of things I can manipulate in using PowerPoint. One of the things that I do like about Google Slides, again, because it has this web feature, if I need to search something really quick on the web, I have a lot of ease doing that in Google Slides as opposed to PowerPoint. PowerPoint, I have purchased it to be installed on a computer. So this, this information may be irrelevant if you purchase Microsoft 365. But because I have it installed on my computer, again, I've got to open up the internet. It's not hooked up to the internet. I have tried Microsoft 365 because our school purchased it and I have access to it, but I have found that some of the features on the 365 and the One Installation program are not the, quite the same. I can't quite do the same things. And I don't know if that is um, how the type of PowerPoint that the school purchased or if that is PowerPoint in general. I did try the, a trial version of the Microsoft 365 and I couldn't do some things and it drove me crazy, which is why I went back to the one installation program. One of the recent features in Teachers Pay Teachers is their digital activities and what they are encouraging teacher sellers to do is just have it in their Google in their Google Slides or Google Drive and then share that and give access to Teachers Pay Teachers. They will put it in safe in a safe situation, make make a file, and then when someone buys that product, they then have it sent to their Google Drive. Now I have done this, I have purchased something 
in this situation. I felt a little bit uneasy, but there are other teachers who love it. All of this Google Slides, PowerPoint, digital activities, this is all very, this is all very much what you, how you, your comfortability with everything. I am very comfortable using PowerPoint. I'm becoming more comfortable with Google Slides. Right now, I am a PowerPoint girl. <laughs> Even though I think digital activities are here to stay, there will be a day when teachers will be back in the classroom and they will be looking more, they'll be looking for those paper products again. And I tend to create both. Let me know in the comments whether you prefer Google Slides and, or PowerPoint and what you use with each of those uh, programs. It really becomes about you taking a little bit of time to play with things. There are teachers I know out there who love Google Slides and that's great. I'm happy for them. <laughs> but as I've mentioned, I right now I prefer working in PowerPoint. When I'm making boom cards, I make them in PowerPoint. I export them as JPEGs and then I, ins I upload them into boom. When I'm making Google Slides, I create them in PowerPoint, I export them as JPEGs, and I throw them over to Google Slides. Have I ever made products that are strictly Google Slides? Mm, no, <laughs> I don't think I have. I think I've, yeah, no, I don't think I have. Not yet, anyways. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not completely close to the idea. I just got to feel a little bit more comfortable with Google Slides. As mentioned in a previous video, I'll be doing request videos. So if there is something that you would like me to do a video on that is related to either teacher productivity or teacher side hustles, then please comment down below and I will even let you know when that video will be uploaded. Next week is another request video. I have been asked if I would talk about TPT reviews and, and how to earn credits and how to encourage your buyers to leave reviews so that it helps you out and it helps them out. So until then, I hope wherever you are in the world, you are keeping safe, that you are healthy, and that you are being kind to one another. We will see you in the next video. Take care.